myself today in the uh, great outdoors. Well, I didn't find myself here. I put myself here. Um, yeah, I, as you know, I can't be at my piano right now. But uh, the music you'll be hearing, or you will, are now hearing, I've written before, of course, and I'm putting it on there. Um, I just really wanted to come to a beautiful, quiet, peaceful uh, place. And I've been here before. I did some, I did some uh, photographs here one other day. And uh, it's, uh, there's nothing quite as pure and beautiful and uncorrupted as nature. There's a great big, up there in the tree, there's a really big, huge nest. I don't know what kind of, what kind of a bird it would be, but it's, it's a big one. I don't think you want to have a chihuahua running around here at night, put it that way. <laughs> Isn't it pretty here? Ooh. I'll take a little footage after. I'll shoot a little bit so you can see it. I shot a little bit before because I was trying to find my place to record here today, and, um, and I was kind of looking at different places, and I wanted, I wanted kind of like the background behind me. Actually, I wanted water. There's water down there. You won't be able to see it, but anyway. But, and I was kind of like looking at it. I set up my camera and I thought, I wonder if this would be a good place. And three deer came up the river, or the, whatever the waterway is there. And uh, they looked at me and I thought, yeah, this is the right place to do this today. So kinds of really pretty little red berries on the tree here. Beautiful, like tomato colored. And uh, the thing I wanted to talk to you about is I've had different uh, people <clears throat> recently been talking to me about uh, like worry and anxiety and uh, you know, centering and how do you deal with it? And you know, how do you, how do you get your mind to stop running rampant? And, all stuff like that. And uh, one of the things I thought maybe be a good idea would be just to <clears throat> tell you some stuff that, that I've kind of realized work for me. And it might be of, you know, might be of help to you too. <clears throat> uh, when a, a friend of mine earlier today, she said to me, well, she says, I'm, I'm anxious all the time and I worry a lot. And I said to her, and she gave me a subject matter that she was worried about, like, you know, it was something in her environment. <clears throat> For the sake of uh, just, you know, putting a subject there, we will say um, she was worried about, uh, you know, her uh, grown children, her grown, and she was worried about her kids. <clears throat> and, and I said to her, um, when you're worrying about them, what are you resisting in now? And she went, well, I'm worried that something is gonna, you know, they're gonna make mistakes or things are not gonna go right for them and I'm worried about all of that. And I said, well, yeah, well, what good's that doing you and what good's it doing them? What are you resisting? And she's going, well, because resistance would be like, what are you not willing to feel? What are you not willing to experience, right? If you're resisting something like situation you got going on, oh man, I just don't want this. I'm resisting, resisting. Of course, what are you doing? You're putting a lot of attention on it and you're focusing all your energy to it and you're <clears throat> imagining something that could happen because of it or you're remembering something that did happen that was similar to it and felt the same. And if you look at it, you kind of go, is it happening right now? No. <laughs> uh, is your worrying about something that could possibly happen about one of your adult children, is that helping them right now? No. Is there anything you can do about, about it? No. <laughs> What's it doing to you? Well, it makes me feel I can't sleep and da 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 And I said, okay, so that's the price you're paying then. That's the price you're actually paying to worry. Worry is costing you that, right? 
Yeah. That's what we're, okay, is that a price you want to pay? Do you want to pay that price? You know, not sleeping, your body all uptight, etc. Do you want to pay that price for that, uh, spending those moments with that activity? And of course, you know, if you, you know, step outside the uh, circumstance, you think, well, I can't do anything about it right now. <laughs> when something comes, maybe I could do something then because I would have the information that would be relevant to that point in time rather than this point in time. So possibly I could do something about it then. And uh, so maybe that helps. Uh, yeah, so if you find you're like really anxious and worried and I mean, it's, I understand it for sure. <laughs> a lot of people aren't sitting in a, you know, on a pretty log looking at a bird's nest with beautiful vegetation all around, you know, they're maybe in their car driving home or, or they could be like, um, whatever, you know what I mean? So anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd maybe offer that as a bit of a, it works for me. <clears throat> Because, I mean, we can all find stuff to be upset about, you know. The other thing, too, is that anxiety and worry and all of that stuff, what that actually does in your body is it creates like a, a release of, of a, you know, this uh, chemical called cortisone. Now, cortisone is a, it's like a fight or flight thing. So it's based in fear, really. Uh, and, of course, what does fear do? Well, fear keeps you in the grips of whatever wants to come in and control you. That's what fear does. Um, so if you're in the grips of fear and uh, you know your body is releasing or your brain's releasing cortisone, cortisone is a very, very powerful chemical that your body naturally releases. But it releases it for specific purposes. For instance, I'm sitting here and a bear comes and the bear says, oh, good. I was wondering what I was gonna eat tonight. You know, that'd be a really good reason for cortisone to fill my system so I could get the hell out of here or do whatever you do if bears do that, which, you know, let's hope there's no bears around because I, <laughs> I haven't prepared myself for a bear today. <laughs> I prepared myself for a snake if I happen to walk on a snake, but I kind of figured, well, a snake's probably not going to, you know, hurt me. <laughs> Plus, I kind of like snakes. <laughs> anyway, um, you get my point, maybe, <laughs> hopefully. Um, but yeah, because so that releases this uh, this chemical that's like you know get the hell out of here, or you know if it's a big bad thing that I got to defend myself, uh, okay, cortisone's going to help you with that too. What it also does, it's not meant to be there as uh, as the oxygen you're breathing. It's meant to be there for those times. When it is there for those times, it's very hard on your cells. It actually. It actually like burns, burns, right? Because it's burning you to do something and it's giving you that, that, that fire. Um, if that's going on all the time, what it does is it packs a whole lot of weight onto your body. That's what it's doing because it's damaging your, it's damaging your cells. So how do we, how do I, I don't know about the we, how do I kind of deal with uh, stuff? I, I don't have a lot of that anymore. I used to. A lot. I, I had a lot of fear, right, on different things. When I moved into my new house, for example, uh, now quite some time ago, I was always scared to go to sleep at night because I didn't know if I was awake and the lights were on and I was still up, chances are I could ward off an intruder or whatever. But I, I was always a little scared to go to sleep at night. So I did this work on myself to think, well, I can't like stay up all the time. You know, I gotta, I gotta actually sleep before three or four o'clock in the morning. Like I, you know. So I thought I better deal with this, this fear thing and look at maybe where that's coming from. Well, I did a little process on myself to do that. And I found something that happened to me when I was like an infant. Uh, believe me, I'm not gonna tell you about it, it's too horrible, but, um, Needless to say, it happened in the night. And I would be, I was maybe, I might have been between six months and a year old, so I wasn't very old. And it was a really awful thing. Um, I'll kind of lay a little of environment for you, but I won't tell you, because you don't, you don't need it, right? Um, I was, uh, you know, my mom was living with her, her parents and her brother. 
and her brother was uh, quite a, like younger than her, and he was kind of like not all there in the head. I mean, pfft. don't mean to be politically incorrect, but factually he was not really the, all there in the head, okay? And uh, so he was not quite right. Well, I'm not gonna say anything else, but needless to say, it was uh, like a, a really not a pleasant thing, and it scared the shit out of me, even as like an infant, like six to a, months to a year. It was something that you don't want to remember later. You don't want to remember it because it's really bad. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so I carried that kind of impression cellularly. Um, there's people going by in the bikes. I carried that uh, impression cellularly and the emotion and the fear and the whatever the hell it was I experienced. Uh, that was in that, it locked into my body, which is where that stuff is held. It's held in your cells. It becomes part of your cellular memory, which I talked about in an earlier video, right? And um, it had to be it looked at and it had to be released. And that was why I was like always a little uncomfortable with going to sleep at night. It was kind of like, it wasn't really safe for me to do that, like bad things could happen. Um, but after I did the work, which I would advise anybody to do, is, you know, you gotta do your own work. Nobody can do it for you, no matter what you're told. Nobody can do it for you, you gotta do it. If you want to heal. Um, but once I did that, <clears throat> I didn't have the fear anymore and I could go to sleep. I could sleep at night. Now I sleep just fine, just fine. So, a little bit of information there on that kind of area. <clears throat> so. I wanted to talk to you though, when somebody I was talking to on Messenger not too long ago was quite, uh, you know, having anxiety and fear. It's now what? <clears throat> it's kind of rampant. It's the pandemic is fear. <clears throat> and um, I, we talked and I said, well, this is what works for me and it's about breathing, okay? Breathing is so important. When you breathe, we just take our breathing for granted, you know? Um, we breathe and we don't even think about it. <clears throat> I had another video on that <clears throat> earlier. <clears throat> <clears throat> but we take our breathing kind of for granted. And when we breathe in through the nose really deeply, but what we do is we follow that breath with our consciousness. Be aware of like the breath going in through your nose, you know? And like I tell you, some people will go, oh shit, you want me to breathe? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've told this to different people, and it really works, you know, it really works. What you do is you breathe in through your nose very slowly, and you really experience, the key word is experience that breath. <clears throat> and it's just kind of like a, oh, wow. <laughs> like it feels good right now, you know? If you breathe it in. And you can feel it go down through your throat. You can feel the coolness of it, right? Because your body temperature is warmer than the air you're breathing. And it feels good. It's oxygen, particularly if you're out here where oxygen is abundant. You bring it right down to your chest, you know? Oh, you feel your chest get nice and open. It opens stuff. And then down into your belly. And then you just kind of take a beat. And then you... Like a balloon, you know? You just let a balloon go. Whew. Talk about nice. Try this. Do what I did, exactly what I did, and try to worry at the same time. Try to be anxious at the same time. You tell me. Comment. Yeah, Aura. I did it. I could do that. And I was still totally worried and anxious, but I fully did it. <laughs> I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. Try it. So I found also like breath is the, breath is your life. You know, when you breathe, that's the first thing you ever do when you're born is you breathe. You breathe. That breath starts your life. That breath connects you. That breath connects you to it connects you to this incarnation. 
It connects you to your consciousness. It connects you to your environment. It connects you to God. It connects you to your higher self. It connects you to your... It connects. It's what breathing does. It's what your breath does. And if you take and you just are conscious about your breath, go to the nature and just walk and breathe, but, it, but experience that breath. Do it over and over again. You don't have to breathe deep every time. Just breathe your normal breathing. Do a few deep ones, like three or four. And then just like be conscious of that beautiful oxygen. Oxygen is what makes your blood be healthy. Oxygen is what energizes your cells. Oxygen is what gives you energy. But you know what? When you breathe, it connects you to your consciousness and to your awareness. Because the thing that stands between you and your consciousness and your awareness is all the chatter in your head. It's all the mind chatter. And do you know where that's coming from? It's coming from lots of places. Some I'm not going to tell you. Um, I'll tell you another time. But for now, it's coming from like things that people have said. It's coming from song snatches. It's coming from parts of conversation you're replaying. It's coming from uh, a worry that you're going over and over. Again, that earlier video, I should have referenced it, uh, the one I'm talking about, but uh, it's the one where I talk about the trees, I believe. No, it's the one before that. <laughs> a lot of good that does you, right? <laughs> anyway, I talk about that. It's where I talk about the DNA and how that all works. Um, but anyway, uh, the breath, yeah, like that's, uh, it connects you with your con consciousness. The thing that is between your consciousness, which is your communication with, with God energy, your consciousness and your awareness is your direct line to all the knowledge there is, all of the gnosis, as they say from the ancients. The gnosis, it's all in the collective consciousness. And that collective consciousness is where we all, all of our experiences as you know, human beings on this incredible planet, we come in here to have an experience. We have that experience for a few reasons. I'm gonna get back to the other. I know I, I, know I digressed, <laughs> but you know what? I'm afraid you gotta live with it. I kinda do that. At least I'm not di digressing to mice and flies, okay? Although we could go there. <laughs> See what I mean by digression? Anyway. <laughs> Now, let me see, what was I saying? <gasps> God. <gasps> uh, consciousness is your, I was talking about the collective consciousness. We come here from, you know, God, from God. We come here from God and we incarnate to experience. When we experience, we gather and learn more information, we gather more gnosis for the collective. We gather knowledge, we gather experience and all of its ramifications. That experience we gather, that goes to the collective consciousness. And all of the experience, all of us humanity are having now and have had forever is in that collective consciousness. How do you tap into that? I tap into it when I play piano, you know? Like I'll sit at the piano and I don't think about what I want to play. I just sit there and I open up to the collective and whoever wants to dump me some stuff, here I am. Got the fingers all ready, go for it. <laughs> and I just let it happen, right? The only time it's kind of a little wacky, which you know you may see from time to time is when my mind gets involved. Like I start, you know, thinking about the next chord I should play. As soon as I do that, I knock it out. That's the mind, we don't want that in there. We just want the, uh, we want the heart, heart. Anyway, that's the collective consciousness and that's where all the information always is. And when you're connected to that via your breath, that consciousness, it expands and it goes into technicolor and you start getting downloads, you start getting information that 
you start to know things and you start to intuit all of that all of that it's all there and you start to get it when your channel is open anybody can do it it's there for you it's there for you right now if you want breathe <laughs> try it practice that's what happens you know you can you can do that um, and of course you're really connected with God like totally now you can be connected with other kind of entities as well and many of those there's a lot of them and they're not good but you can tell if you're if you're not in a band of fear if you're in the energy frequency of love if you're in the energy frequency of compassion understanding brother and sisterhood and connection with the beauty and the grace that is the life that we all are you know when we're not battling with all the crap we battle with and which i know there's a lot of it but if we can stay connected to all of that and if you can't it's normal you won't all the time but if you can't take a little walk go to nature hug a tree people used to say oh yeah a tree hugger they do that for a reason think about it go hug a tree you know go hug a tree but when you ca- connect with all of that oh it's incredible the experience life becomes it, it's incredible the experience that life is that life is personally i connect with dogs there's one coming right now <laughs> really cute dog <laughs> nice man um no this is not a bar <laughs> Remember jokes? Remember jokes? Um, I wish you could see these trees I'm looking at there. Oh, so nice. I'm not sure what you are saying. Oh, you're saying pretty cool stuff. The sun's behind me now. It's possibly blacking out my face. I have no idea because I don't have a light. <laughs> If I set the camera this way, I'd have a light, but then the sun would be, me- be in my eyes and I'd be squinting. I chose this. I may not be in total lightness, but I'll see what I can do in the post about that. Anyway, um yeah so like when you breathe and you can connect with all of that the mind it'll try to get your attention make no mistake the mind will do that because hey it's been in charge of you for quite a long time and it doesn't want to let go of that power it doesn't want to let it go but the truth the truth the mind is not in charge of you you're in charge of the mind make sense the mind is something that will it's like a kid having a tantrum or it's like a kid a little kid who's uh you know day after halloween <laughs> overload on sugar <sighs> that that's the mind the mind is like a a kid on a huge sugar high and <laughs> does that relate Do you, has your mind ever been like that? Make a comment, let me know. <laughs> well, that's what the mind can do. And when you, you don't try to push it away or stop it or anything like that because that only feeds it power and it gives it the attention it wants. Kind of like a little kid, right? No, you don't do that. Instead, you kind of like, eh, yeah, I can see. All right. Go on. It's good, fine. And you just let it go. And you put your attention once more on where your focus is. It's in the breath. Breath will always bring you back. Breath will always bring you back. Eventually what happens is it takes a while, okay? So don't set yourself up for a loss here. Oh, I'm going to do this tonight or let's see how it works. <laughs> nope. Uh, it takes a little longer. I've been doing it for a long time. But uh, eventually... it sits quietly and when you want to use it as a tool which is what it's meant for it's sitting right there really willing to be your buddy and it can be a really good buddy like hmm what do i do if i get a bug bite that's really bothering me you see you can do it two ways you actually into it which I'll do that and I'll just get the answer that way now. I don't go to the mind as much. 
Or you can go, hmm, what did I learn about that? Let me see, I think I saw something there or something here. You can use the mind like that. Uh, but it's not like it's old tech. <laughs> it's old tech. <laughs> the uh, new tech or the effective new, yeah, it's the new, it's the new programming, it's the new computer program. You don't do that. Instead, what you do is you just breathe. Ah, and the answer is right there. Well, I can put baking soda mixed with water on it. That'll take the sting out of it. You know? Answer was there. I didn't have to go to Google. You can do you can do it that way. Practice it, I'd say. That's a really good way to do things. Yeah. Because then you don't have a lot of clutter. Where it really, really helps me when I don't have to be bothered with the mind and all of its chatter all the time, which I don't anymore really too much. Say I'm like really you know, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, actually. I could be like packing, I could be rushing around, trying to get out of the house at a certain time, whatever it is I'm doing. My mind is nowhere near the scene. It's just, the way I, the way I experience it is my body is moving. And it can go pretty fast, you know? But it's like, and I'm just doing this and doing that and this and doing that and doing that. And in like, literally, time goes by that's like maybe that much, and I did all this stuff. It's because I'm not being cluttered up by vias to take me off course and make me not be focused on what I'm actually doing. So that's like one of the powers that you can get from, from you know, doing the work on this. And you cannot have anybody else do it for you. You've got to do it yourself. There is, this is not a McDonald's drive through It's not Tim Horton's drive through No. This is like you make your coffee and you either perk it or you do French press, which I now do, which is great. <laughs> like this is where you actually cut up the vegetables and cook them. You don't just like, you know, get a side order from Wendy's. No, this is not, uh, not fast food. This is not fast, fast, you know, fast uh, growth. It is fast growth. It snowballs, but it does it organically and it does it naturally and it does it stably, stably. So uh, that's why you can't have anybody else do it for you. You gotta do it yourself. Same thing with your sovereignty. Nobody's going to step in and do the work for you. If you don't agree with something, and if you don't like the way things are, I know I'm, at this point I'm like beating this dead horse, right? Like, have I said that before? Gee, I might have. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, but same thing for sovereignty, right? If there's something you don't agree with. If you step back and go, well, I'll let somebody else do it, or I'll just like go along with the program because I really don't want somebody to, you know, look at me like I'm a bad person. Well, all you're doing is you're just enabling the the uh, you're just enabling the uh, the control. That's all you're doing. You think you're helping anybody by doing that? No. But I would first say, don't listen to what I'm saying. Go to your own research. Like dig around, find out what's actually really going on. There's a lot of shit going on, okay? But. Oh man, the stuff that's actually going on, the cool stuff, it is so cool. Man, is it cool beyond, wow, beyond cool, really cool. Anyway, <laughs> but I digress. <sighs> do you know, no, of course you don't know, maybe you do, I don't know. Um, <laughs> today I think it's, well, Earlier it was like 32 degrees. It's hot here, okay? Like it is hot. I'm sweating. I'm literally like, oh. this hair, hot. But what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna cut it off. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's kinda what I wanted to share with you. I don't know if I got anything else to share with you today. The flies are like in my sweat now. They're actually landing on me. I think they're trying to, I think they think that I'm like an oasis in the desert. I think they're trying to like get little drinks of water on my arm. <laughs> Beautiful, something just went by. I think it was a butterfly. <laughs> Big. Um, anyway, I'm not fond of being a, <laughs> a watering hole for flies. <laughs> I am not fond of being a water hole for flies. <laughs> Oh my, you know what, 
Another thing that's really a great thing to do to, to relieve any kind of worry or anxiety is laugh. I have a friend and oh, <laughs> the laughter, oh my God, the laughter. You can't, you cannot place, you cannot place value on the value of laughter. Honest to God, it's so incredible. Just to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. Find somebody you can laugh with and just go, go for a walk and have a laugh. It's the greatest medicine there is. You'll be doing that, you'll be doing that every day. You're not gonna need pills. You're not gonna need, you know, to be um, strapped to Big Pharma for the rest of your life. Of course, that's what they would like. They would like that because, you know, they want the money. They want customers for life. Don't be one of their customers. Do not be a customer of Big Pharma for life. No. God has given us so much, so much for our nourishment, spiritually, emotionally, visually, feeling-wise, connection in, wow, look what our beautiful, thanks, thanks dad, you know, look what our beautiful father has given us that we have. One of the things that, uh, this may not be popular with some of you, even people that I, you know, probably not even listen, which is good, I don't care, but like, what, what the bodies that we've been given, that God, God, God made, okay? Like God put the whole program together, like God did it. Um, but the bodies we've been given, they are so efficient, so efficient. You do not need, you don't need anything coming into your body to fight off something that's probably not even there. Your body is so smart. Do you know, like I... I can't even remember when I was sick. I can't even remember. I have never sanitized or done anything. As a matter of fact, when I, when I would go to the stores, I'd, I'd try to get more contact with stuff. That's how your immune system gets strong. You, it's taking your immune system out to the gym, you know? Give it some stuff to work with. You know, it loves to get in there and pump and work and get, get strong. That's how it does it. Oh, take everything away, so you're not going to do this, and that, and the other thing. Your immune system becomes a little weakling. It becomes a pasty, white, you know, blah piece of Ben's bread from the 60s with sugar on it. <laughs> How's that for a picture? That's my immune system. It's your immune system if you, if you, you know, screw it up, yeah. But anyway... Uh, whoops, <laughs> somebody, somebody there going, whoops. There's <laughs> probably going to be a cure for it, though. Don't fret. I mean, you know, one of the things you can always heal yourself with is your spiritual en en energy. You can always heal, heal yourself spiritually. You always can. Because you know why? You know why you can? You're connected to God. God has it over Big Pharma every day of the weekend, twice on Sunday. Yep. God's got it all over Big Pharma. And if you worry and you don't know that, I suggest you, uh, you know, take a little look around and see if you can meet God. God's there. God's right there. But you gotta, you gotta know the power in yourself. And you gotta know where that power comes from. You're so amazing. You are so amazing. You are so amazing and magical. Wow. I did another video called, you know, Heroic You, something like that. I can't remember the names of my videos, but look at it, look at it, look at it. It's something about the human being very powerful and heroic. Because that's what I really see when I look at you. Every one of you, everybody I've ever met, you know, even the, even the really bad guy, you know, that guy. <laughs> Nobody recently, long time ago. Um, even that guy. Like, I look at that and... I mean, not that I've looked in a long time, but nor do I really, frankly, want to. I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep him kind of in the fly category. Not ready yet. But, <laughs> but, like, everybody, I, everybody I've ever, 
in like really come in contact with ever in any way. I totally see the power and the beauty in that person. I'll never stop, ever. Nothing's gonna beat that out of me, nothing, nothing. Nobody is gonna come to me and beat my truth and beauty in what I see in you. Nobody's gonna come and corrupt that in for me, nobody. I don't care who you are, I don't care anything. Nobody's gonna corrupt what I feel for anybody. No, doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna corrupt that. Because I know me, and I know you. And having said that, it's probably a good time to end off, because frankly, I may be like taking my shirt off on the way back up the path. I walked quite a ways through a little path to get here. I may have to take this off and like wring it out. <laughs> no, not really. I'm not about to do that. <laughs> and I certainly wouldn't film it if I did. <laughs> have a laugh with me, okay? Have a laugh right now. Like, let's just laugh. <laughs> oh, laugh with me, it's fun. <laughs> I just love you. I seriously do. Like, I really love you. And I really thank you for being you. I don't want you to be anybody else. I thank you for being you. The powerful, beautiful, amazing you. And with your magic and your power, I, I love you. <laughs> I just think you're great. I really do. So, that's all I'm gonna say. And I would say then, well, <laughs> see what I mean, but I digress. <laughs> I would say then, I think this was in some sort of a movie I saw, and thus, thus endeth the lesson. I have no idea where that came from, <laughs> but it was some old movie from somewhere. If you know the reference, I know somebody who will probably know that reference and put it in the comments. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> thus endeth the lesson. <laughs> it's not a lesson, it's just me talking to you. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for letting me share it with you today and thank you for Thank you for sharing this beautiful environment with me. Beautiful environment. The sky is really pretty blue today. I love this log, little stick here. And I love you. <laughs>